Ekesosharushii cam. These are my uh, my pair of Ekes. So uh, I'm sorry. Let me take that all back. Ekes multisquamatus cam. These are my is Iranian slash Pakistani uh, saw scales from specific areas inside uh, uh, that region. Um, these guys have been a little bit of trouble to keep. Um, they've calmed down significantly. Uh, I can give them uh, water from a pipette now with, uh, without getting into too much difficulty with them. They don't saw scale nearly as much as they used to. Um, but I've had to treat them a couple of different occasions with uh, flagell uh, because they've they've been regurgitating food on occasion. Um, the smallest one, uh, this guy right here that you see, the big female is sort of circling off to the back and I have to sort of keep my eye on her separately from the camera. Um, he's been a real uh, tough customer. He's uh, been regurgitating a lot recently. His weight was went down from 72 grams to 40 grams and uh, I whacked him once with flagell. He ate and uh, he regurgitated that, so I whacked him again with an even bigger dose. And you have to be careful with flagell because it's pretty toxic. Um, and that seems to have got it. He's retained the past two meals that I've given him, uh, which is sort of a, a temporary success. We'll see how he does long term. Uh, but, uh, you know, these are not uh, common in the U.S., although a, a shipment did come in a couple years ago and I managed to get some. Um, just part of my, uh, my fondness of Echis. It's real funny, this male will only eat live fuzzies or crawlers or hoppers and stuff. Oops. But, if I put a frozen thawed quail chick in there, he really loves those and he'll eat that right away, dead. Um... The female here, who's coming to visit, oh, now the male's coming to visit. Um, the female will sometimes eat uh, frozen thawed uh, rat uh, pinks and such. Um, but the male is proven to be quite fussy, uh, as most male snakes seem to be. Female's uh, job in life is to uh, eat and put on weight so they can successfully reproduce. The males only need enough energy to get around to impregnate the female and then move on to the next one and grab something along the way. Uh, they're not the ones that would probably become obese. Um, so I gotta feed him up. I'm gonna try him again tonight since it looks like he's, uh, he's back to thin. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'll, I think I'll throw him a quail trick tonight and uh, uh, see if he likes that. He probably will. He he does pretty good. See, here's the male uh, enjoying his uh, favorite dish, which are these little quail chicks. Uh, he can use the uh, the protein and get some weight back on him. I'm glad uh, I'm glad I have something he really likes. Meanwhile, the female is not all that terribly interested in it. So if he eats the second one, that's fine with me. Because she eats a lot more and much more regularly. Ekis so shuruki I can. This is Big Mama. She is... Uh, one of the largest saw scales I've ever seen and currently she's gravid and she's really not herself. Normally she's fairly calm and sedate and not so defensive but not so today. She's uh, 
she's overdue by last year's uh, uh, date that she dropped her babies. Um, uh, so I'm really wondering what's going on with her. And, and you know, see her in her defensive posture? Uh, I can count on one hand in the three years that I've had her that I've seen her in this position. It is not very often. She is uh, very defensive with the camera and, and now retreating. Not something you normally see from her. Um, I've moved the male out uh, to give her some uh, uh, solitude. Uh, take care of her birthing process without some nosy male you know sticking his nose in and checking everything out Mel is really quite pesty he only has one thing on his mind and she's not in the mood for it right now hi sniffs how you doing sniffs is over there uh, saying hello uh, he's probably due f some food this weekend uh, but tonight, uh, we have a couple guys that are due for something to eat, and uh, first thing that we're going to do is uh, feed Miss Spike uh, one of her favorite foods, uh, gerbil. Now, I don't know if Spike's going to really eat because it's been so hot here in the northeast and my snake room is insulated but uh, the western uh, wall gets like to 85 it, just if I hit it with my uh, laser uh, thermometer um, and uh, so I've been I you know I shut down heat rocks and other heating uh, things and I've even gone to shutting down some of the lights in the cage uh, periodically. Spike, you awake? Oh, Spike's awake. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Spike's into it. Oh, yeah, okay. Spike's into it. Uh, See you guys, you don't necessarily have to superheat your uh, uh, desert snakes to get them to feed if they're well acclimated. Uh, right now, Spike is, oh, he's not so bad. He's 85 degrees. I don't know if heat's on or not, but I'm not going to stick my hand in there. But let's see. Eh, the heat panel's 81 degrees, but I'll tell you. The light 93 is giving off the uh, the most heat. Um, you know, I just uh, I don't worry so much about uh, the heat. I make sure there's a hot spot. I make sure there's a cold spot. Uh, hot spot is within their normal operating uh, temperature cool spot is 20 or th even 30 degrees below that if I can do it um, and uh, my desert snakes uh, do pretty well the only ones that I really keep up there in, in temperature is actually the the saw scales um, they're uh, much happier up at the higher temperatures I keep them uh, well up there so let's uh, uh, let Spike uh, enjoy uh, her meal here, and uh, we've got a few other uh, things to do in in the snake room. Enjoy, Miss Spike. Again, you notice I use tools to shut the windows. Uh, I don't think there would be a problem, but. I'm certainly not going to uh, test that theory. And once again, there's Mr. Sniffs. He's always, uh, you know, up here saying hello, checking me out, seeing if I brought him something to eat.
Hmm. I wonder who's lurking inside this cage. Well, it's Miss Pseudocerastes, and there's the male, uh, sort of wandering over also. Oh, the male is uh, taking the arboreal route. Hello, are you interested in this? You're a garbage disposal. I know you're interested in that. Are you going to be nice or are you going to slam it? You're going to slam it. Oof, what a vicious monster she is. Okay. Now let's see if Mr. Male would like something to eat. These guys are, can easily become obese. So I try to go a little light on the feeding. Hey bud, don't bother her, you'll get your ass kicked. Come here. Um, he is such a weenie. Come here. Man, if I nudged Gabby like that, she would nudge me back. Here, eat that. All I was doing is trying to get you out of out of trouble. Go on. Here, I'll leave it for you. You can take. Ah, oh, that's sweet. He just uh, took it and is trying to take off with it. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help me, Spock. Help me, Spock. Oh, okay. Ah, snakes that live together, dine together. Competition for the synchronized eating team, I think. But these guys uh, don't necessarily uh, bite each other as much. Oh, Mr. Russell, that was a beautiful yawn. I missed it, and I wasn't going to go over there uh, to get it. Darn. He has good half-inch, five-eighths long fangs uh, that I would not like to become acquainted with. But Mr. Russell put on quite a show there. And Sniff's over there sniffling, too. Okay, gang. That's all for you guys. Hello, you little beastie. Hello there. Hanging out of the top of the uh, vision cage here. That's not so nice. That's not so nice. Don't whack the camera. It's just the camera. Pseudo Serestes cam. Hmm, can I eat this? I bet she smells all the different snakes that have touched the front of that or spattered venom on it, one or the other. She's basically a pretty good snake. She can be quite testy though. No, no, no. We don't want to come around the side and visit me. Hello, I. I see you too. Well, that's an unusual view. All right, you're gonna get down and, and be uh, be a good girl, huh? Or are you going to hang out up top there and be pestilent? Pseudocerastes, unfortunately, isn't a commonly kept uh, snake from the Middle East. They're really, really nice animals. They have that sort of Levantine viper uh, shaped body in, in stock. They're as close to carrion feeders as you can get. Uh, they're even more so a garbage disposal than puff adders. Oh, that was a very graceful uh, way of getting down there, young lady.
Very, very nice uh, animals. Oh, but they can be very touchy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me.